feels kind of good to wake up in the wilderness without having to worry. Because still, like, I'm the kind of person who is fear. Like, I fear things, like, a lot of things. And, like, most of the times, if I'm getting bullied or anything, I keep my fears bottled up inside. And I know I came, that's why I came here, to, like, change. Have you ever been camping? You ever like nature? You like nature? You like being out? What's your name, brother? Mark. Mark? Cool, man. I'm Hawa. What's your name, brother? Carter. Carter? And we're doing this retreat into West Virginia. We're taking students and young people from DC for an eight day, all expenses paid kind of vacation, you could say. There's gonna be drumming, there's gonna be music, therapy. So basically hearing about the issues that you deal with growing up in the city, like what are the biggest things that you gotta face, the hardest obstacles that you have, what are your goals and what do you find important in life? I know what it feel like to be broke, poor, homeless and everything. And that's probably the main problem. Like everybody says I don't talk enough, so it's probably because I don't talk enough about my feelings and that's because I'm just not that emotional. I try to be emotionless for some reason. But everybody knows the reason. It's always because of their past and everything. Yeah, I like to write poetry, songs for my, me and Melissa to sing. Anything that's, that keeps me calm and not angry. Well, my father died when I was three years old. When he died, my mother went through a lot of stuff, and so we went into a foster home. I come too far from where I started from. I've had guns pulled out on me. I've been kicked out and forced into adulthood. And right about these days, having to move around, I need self-fulfillment. Rattlesnakes, like I said, if you hear the rattler, stop and look around you and see where you're going. They like to come out and, and lay out on the rocks uh, near the edges of the banks. <laughs> sweat lodge and inside there it's pitch dark and you go in and you sweat it out you, you just have to come face to face with your demons and your, and your fears <laughs> things to let go of because it's like it always resides in the heart. Because a lot of times we feel like if we get angry, we're, we're bad, we're wrong, we're doing something incorrectly and we have to repress it. I'm like, let me just go punch hell up because I'm mad. <laughs> That's not going to do anything. We can channel that anger in a way where it moves mountains. Right down on the outside of the balloon, what it is outside. that you do um, that you present to other people so that nobody can see the things that are hidden on the inside, inside of your heart. I'm in control. I don't need to hide. I want my heart back. <laughs> <laughs> Every
everyone has a talent, you know. They sing, they dance, they write, they speak, they draw, they paint, anything, whatever it is. Like, if we could get all of them together and just like show the adults that we have this, like you don't always have to tell us that we can't do something because we can and we will. My problems fly, ready to take flight. Go ahead, open your eyes. Reverse the worst time and let this anger go. Just let somebody know. Like I said, the Hawa, eight days, it's not gonna do it exactly. Eight days of a tree is not gonna form. Even though you sit there and you water it and you look at it and you watch it and you say yes. Even though you sit there and watch it, eight days is not gonna do it to something. But a seed can be planted in one minute. Mm -hmm. and, in one moment. and yes, right now we have the opportunity to change. We have the opportunity to make a transition within ourselves. But where do you start? Everything has been good so far. I'm happy. This is going to be a good trip. Let's see how it ends. This is the movement. This is the movement. This is the movement. This is the movement. Alright. Oh, so why would you really blow it out? That's our only light.